What's going on guys? Long uh, time, no update on the reef, and I've been doing some stuff on the reef, but not a whole lot. My plans were to be getting rid of it uh, very shortly here. But even before the baby was born, uh, I had some infatuation with concrete, using concrete, cement, uh, whatever it may be in the reef tank. And I've actually asked people about this, a lot of people, and bugged the shit out of them. And um, got some good answers, got some good information, but I decided I really wanted to see it and try it for myself. Uh, so what you see in here is there is concrete in here. I actually went outside. I'm not talking about some do-it-yourself live rock. I went outside and I found uh, concrete that was busted up from demo jobs or a busted up sidewalk or, you know, something of the such where the concrete was actually out there in the environment being weathered uh, and, and soaking up stuff and just exposed to all type of nasty shit. And I really just wanted to see what would happen. Now, I'm not saying anyone go out there and put concrete in your tank. I hope you wouldn't do that. I hope you go the live rock route or at least do it yourself rock or something of the such. I don't knock anyone for not wanting to use live rock and, and uh, lead to further destructions of other reefs and beautiful and habitats. But um, I really wanted to try it. So that began a long process of me actually curing concrete. I didn't just take the concrete and throw it in my tank by no means. I went over a uh, strategic cleaning of this concrete, man, uh, blasting it with extremely hot water was the first uh, step of that, scrubbing the concrete of all organic materials that would be on the outside of it, um, and repeating that over many, 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 many days and weeks, uh, actually boiled this stuff. Okay, so I went ahead and boiled the shit out of it for days, man, uh, on and off cycles. Boil, I would boil it all day and let it sit in hopes that it would kind of seep out, leach out anything that it may have uh, collected from the environment over its you know, duration of its life being out there. Um, so it was a long process with that. Also, I went ahead and I even went further and I even went through a curing process with these rocks in a different tank. Um, and it was over three months of the curing process I went through. And that was just to make super sure that uh, it wasn't poisonous, hazardous, toxic, toxic to my fish uh, or, the, or the tank. So you can even look back on some of the older videos like the Mr. Mom spoof video if, when I'm doing Mr. Mom. If you look behind me, there's a tank there with a little bit of water in it and it's got some rock in there and what looks like Java moss, that's Chato. So even back then, I was cycling concrete, getting it ready for the <laughs> to put it in the reef. Um, I do still have the original rock in there. I just kind of built the concrete up around it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, another thing with the concrete, I wanted to see how long it would take to actually... Uh, uh, start to disintegrate and break down. Concrete as a material isn't very long lived. Um, when it's exposed to the elements, it starts breaking down pretty fast. And especially in a saltwater tank, it would do that. So I want to see. I wanted to see basically if it's breaking apart, it's going to be falling into your system and floating around in your system, falling into the substrate, becoming part of your system basically. Another thing, concrete is not made of the same thing as your live rock that you're buying, dude. So it's two totally different uh, uh, materials. It's not as porous as the live rock that you're buying, okay? And it wasn't. It doesn't have these critters on there that have been burrowing in it, making it even more porous, okay? For millennia, however long that rock has been there. Um, but over time, I believe it's possible. I'm not saying anyone go in, like I said, and, and put concrete in your tank, but I just had this infatuation to try it, and I'm, I, I just wanted to really try it, and uh, so far it's going good. I don't have any hard-ass corals in here. Everything in here is pretty simple, straightforward forward animal, you know. Um, everything in here is pretty easy. As you can see, you, you, I'm getting, you can see a lot of the rocks are green. Okay, and I've learned, uh, I've, I've come to learn that, um, especially when you're adding something that isn't particularly made for a marine environment, you get these other buildup of algaes before this coralline happens and occurs. So what happens is you'll get this, you'll get your diatoms, your rock will turn brown, all that good stuff that's expected, but then it'll go a step further and you'll actually get these crazy ass algaes uh, that grow on the rock. Not hair algae, I haven't got any hair algae, which I'm pretty surprised. No crazy ass hair algae on the uh, tank. Uh, and I haven't been doing water changes for three, four months, like I said, so no crazy ass algae problems, but you can see the rock is green. The concrete is green. But what happens is that first, you know, the, the green comes on, and then that is like a stepping stone for the other algaes, coral line, and other little critters in life to go ahead and move in and do their thing. And as you can see, I get closer, and you can see I got little little blots of coral line, you know, coming in. As you can see, that's a piece of concrete. Coral line. Up here, coral line. So, uh, my whole thing was I was kind of thinking if the coral line really gets on that concrete and embeds it 
um, as you can see with the power heads, you know, it's it's it, it would basically encase it is what I'm kind of thinking. And this would kind of slop stop or slow uh, the the uh, the rock from you know disintegrating and breaking down and getting into your system. Although it's just a theory, I haven't seen much videos on YouTube about actual using concrete. I wouldn't suggest it, like I said, but I had infatuation with it. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna stop it at that, man. I've said a lot and. It's an experiment. I hope no one takes this to heart or is like you're a shitty tank keeper because you put concrete in there. Um, I could have easily left it how it was, but I just really want to try something. And I think that's what makes having a tank great, man. You just get to try some out-of-the-box shit and do something different and uh, discover new stuff as you go. And uh, yeah, man.